Hello guys and welcome back to Wilderness. Today we are at the aquarium hoping to come across some cool animals. Okay, so as you can see, these penguins have white undersides and black upper sides. And this helps them, you can see it really well right now, it helps them with camouflage from predators underneath, can't see them as well, and neither can their prey because of the sun against their white bellies. And also predators can't see them very well from above because of the black next to the dark waters. Pretty cool, huh? Orcas have that same pattern. Now these, these over here are purple striped nettles. These do have a powerful sting. And sea jellies are actually related to um, sea anemones and coral. And this is a species of selenerate. Same with those two animals. That is huge. Have you ever seen anything that big? Oh my gosh, look at that. Do you know what that is? That's a mantis shrimp. Those guys have better eyesight than we do. I was not expecting that big. They can actually see better than we can. They can see UV light. So they have incredible vision. One of the, well, they can see more than almost any other animal on the planet. Right here, the mantis shrimp. Okay, so right now, we are gonna go see we are gonna go see some fish. And I'm not talking trout. I'm talking sharks, stingray, manta ray. And I heard you can pet a stingray. So, of course, they don't have their venomous barbs in, but, you know, still awesome. Let's do this. These are just sea enemies. This is the warty sea cucumber, and it's called that because of all those spines. That helps them camouflage with their environment. But they're not actually spiky, it's just really slimy, like a slug, even though they're not related slugs. So which side's its head and which side's its butt? So they do have a hole on both sides, just like people. And they do have teeth in their butt, so it's going to be kind of confusing. So I'm, I don't actually know which side. I'm assuming this is the head, though, because it's lifting it up. <gasps> oh, no, yeah, that's its head. You can see its tentacles coming out. These guys are mainly feeding on algae and stuff or anything they can find in the sand. And what they do is they just eat a bunch of sand, absorb the nutrients out of it, and then poop out the sand. And their poop is just like sand balls. And I kind of want to see one, but I don't see any right now. They're just little like piles of sand smushed together. Super cool. Some species actually have teeth in their butt because there's a parasitic crab that will go up their butt and feed on your insides. So this, it's a self-defense to have teeth in your butt. So when the crab climbs up, you can chew on it. Okay, this is a gumboot chitin. I actually couldn't identify, I had to look up there. But luckily, I do know what a gumboot is. And they're super cool. Now this is the largest species of chitin in the world known to man. And, well, it is a gastropod. It's related to slugs and snails. And gastropod basically means foot, stomach. Um, pod is foot and gastro means stomach. So it's basically these slug-like animals that have their feet and stomach in the same body part. So its foot is the underside and then its stomach is just where normal stomachs are, right? Super cool. And it's like squishy. 
Yeah. How they eat is they can like excrete stomach acids so they digest their prey before they actually suck it back in. Okay, right here, these are stingray. Wow. Now, in the wild, stingrays actually are venomous, but their sting is just extremely painful and it cannot kill you. But here, their barbs have been taken out, so they're pretty harmless. Um, still really cool. This guy just keeps coming right up to us. Okay, right over here, come look at these. These are horseshoe crabs. And I say horseshoe crabs, but these are actually not crabs. They're related to spiders and scorpions. And something that's really cool about them is they have nine eyes. They have two light sensing eyes on the top, and then they have a bunch of different kinds of eyes on their bottom. Pretty cool. And a lot of people think that that tail is venomous. It is not. They are harmless. But yeah, they're called horseshoe crabs because their carapace, the top of their shell, is shaped just like a horseshoe. You can see it right there. He's walking along the bottom. You see that one's legs. Did you get that? Okay, so here at the Living Loveland Aquarium, we've seen some awesome animals, but we haven't even seen close to all of it. So we're gonna go back, maybe see some octopus, and then go to the South America section. See some snakes, frogs, freshwater fish. Cool. I would put that around your It's an Big. This is an electric eel. Electric eels are not actually eels at all. They're fish. Ow, jeez. Oh my goodness. Amazing, we're seeing all these beautiful, beautiful pheasants with this incredible coloring. And then we come across this. You just think of all the biodiversity and beauty of Asia. Thank you guys so much for watching this epic encounter with the Aquarium of Utah. Please, Please comment and subscribe. We'll see you on, on the, the next Wilderness episode. episode. Crabs are poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again, Arm. Say it again. Crabs are poisonous. Wait. <laughs> <laughs>